Bringing 262 Heavy, wind calm, runway 31 left, clear for takeoff, caution weight turbulence, previous departure, Heavy uh, 777. Welcome aboard and welcome to Atomic City, Idaho. Um, there's, there's not much here. Let's uh, drop the flaps in our Civil Air Patrol mall and uh, check it out. There's, there's not much here. It's, it's pretty, uh, pretty basic little place we got going on here. But that, to me, seems to bring the best in. Uh, well, this thing is taking forever to get airborne, isn't it? Whee, there we go. That seems to bring about the best in some of these uh, scenery mods. Places that are quite literally up lip on the map. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's nothing but a little blip. There's actually several airports in this pack that we're going to do. Um, this is just one of them. But they're all really small little airports. That's the whole, whole premise of this thing. This particular... Oh, there's a nice mountain over there. Um, of this particular scenery pack is focusing on these small airports. Now, the author does say that it works... It blends well with Orbis scenery. I don't have Orbis scenery on. But... Um, yeah, this is the default scenery. It is pretty default. <laughs> Don't think you can get much e much uh, more default than this. All right, well, there you go. Hopefully, when we come back, when the scenery is engaged, this uh, this will look much nicer. We'll have more than just a stocking. One windsock. But uh, we'll find out. We'll be back with the uh, scenery file engaged hello and welcome back to atomic city this is the big southern butte by the way i don't think i mentioned that the first time this is big southern butte we have the scenery pack on look at that now <clears throat> something about the scenery pack um when i put it on and loaded my plane in it crashed immediately so just be aware of that they, they changed the... See how they changed the rise? You can see how the runway actually drops down. Um, I think the plane still spawned in in the ground initially. So... Oh, look, we have a cabin. Cabin in the woods. Cabin in the... Well, okay, not the woods. We're not in the woods. We're not in a wood. Let's take off. <laughs> okay. All right, so... Interesting. Um, <clears throat> the scenery looks good, but we crash when we try to take off. All right, let's let's go really slow here. Do it really slow. Okay, we're going. We're going. Okay, so <clears throat> that became a repeated problem. So now we're in a helicopter, because. I don't need no stinking runway for a helicopter. All right, let's get in the air here. All right, so from the air, it actually looks like a pretty nice looking runway. I mean, there's stuff on the side and it just, it looks pretty neat, doesn't it? Um, it, it doesn't, it blends okay with the scenery around it. The problem is I can't actually take off on the bloody thing. It's kind of a problem. Um, and this is just one of five. There's five airports that have been changed by this. This is just one of them. The other one is also supposed to be somewhere in Atomic City. Um, there's a helipad there, right there. How about that? No, that's not a helipad. That's where my windsock is. Okay. Well, whatever. Um, and this comes, of course, we had the cabin that I pointed out last time. We'll just kind of do a swoop pass at the cabin. Hey, cabin, what's up? Cabin in the Knotwoods, and there's apparently some thing that looks like, I don't know what that is, low res something or another, that's a ground. Okay, let's find, um, I actually have no idea where the other one is, so I probably won't be able to fly to it, uh, but this one does give pause, given the, uh, Actually, it looks pretty good from up here. Look at that. That's actually really nice from up here. You can see where it just, like, ends, and that's where the, the Orbis scenery comes into play. The problem being, 
I could take off on it. I couldn't even taxi without crashing. So while it looks beautiful from up here, from up here it does. I mean, that looks really nice. Unfortunately, you do crash when you try to take off on it with a mall. Maybe the other airports wouldn't be so bad, but if one of them is bad, I have a bad feeling about the rest of them, if you kind of guess where I'm going there. Um, I like the concept. It does change a lot. It does really change us from the dirt, you know, bit of dirt stuck in the ground into something a little bit more. Um, but unfortunately, if you can't take off and land on it, not really sure what the reasoning is um, for this, other than to fly over it, and I don't care to do that too much. So there you go. Um, if you want to give it a try, maybe maybe you'll have better luck, but um, I didn't have any luck here. This is the uh, Idaho Airstrip Scenery Pack. Link is down below if you want to play with it. Um, I unfortunately can't seem to use it because I can't take off without crashing unless I'm flying my helicopter. All right, and I'm not a very good helicopter pilot, so I'm surprised we, we lasted as long as we did. Anyway, until next time, when we try to find a scenery pack that doesn't cause our plane to crash, and maybe, like I said, if you try this, if you try this and it works for you, or you find out why it caused that crash, put a comment down below, let me know. Um, but otherwise, I'm probably going to just ditch this particular scenery pack. Until next time, it's been Derek Tabbers doing a scenery spotlight for the Idaho Airstrip scenery. Make sure you use a helicopter or you might crash. <laughs> Until next time. Bye. United 351 North Alpha Road. Good evening. Depart the Woodside VOR heading 060. Vector visual for some way 28 left. Okay, out of Woodside 060 for 28 left. United 351.